How you going, sexy people? So this is a follow-up from my previous Pterodactyl install video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out in the description. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the database system on the Pterodactyl. So before you get started, what you have to do is go to nano slash etc slash mysql slash mariadb.conf.d slash 50-server.cnf. This may be a bit different for the location if you didn't follow my exact install. It might be in the my.cnf file in the slash etc slash mysql. Could be in quite a few places. I, I recommend you actually follow the install. <laughs> All you're looking for is this line here, bind address. It's set by default as 127.0.0.1. Change it to 0.0.0.0 and then control X, Y, enter to save it. I didn't edit it, so I didn't need to save it. And then we can get started with the main setup. Quite simple. What you want to do is type in the command mysql-u root-p, press enter twice, and type in use mysql. Type in use mysql. Type in create user user at percent sign identified by, say like, password one with a semicolon as semicolon the first one as well you want to grant all the privileges on asterisk dot asterisk to user at percent sign with grant option semicolon then you want to flush privileges semicolon and then exit and that's finished. You want to set up a firewall rule. So the database only has access between the multiple servers. So you go UFW allow 172.16.0.0 slash 14. Sorry, UFW allow from. And that just gives the access to all the servers to talk to each other. And then you open up the panel. Go to the settings. Go to the servers. The server you created before. Build configuration. Database limit. I'll put it as one because I'm only adding one database. If you're adding more, add, add more database limits. Click on databases, create new, the name of the database, the host, which is, I'm just going to put the um, the FQDN, though you need to make sure that if you're running this through Cloudflare proxy, this won't work. You have to just use the IP address. Port is 3306. The username is uh, user. The password, password1. Link to node, will the node you set up. Create. Then you go to servers, server, database, and let's create the S1 underscore user and then go create database. Simple as that. There's the username, there's the user, the host that you would need. What I usually like to do when I'm creating databases for my own network is actually manually just create it through MySQL. So I'll quickly show you that way. So MySQL-u root-p, use MySQL, create user server there at percent sign identified by password one. And there we go, you, password one, sorry, I had a bit of a mistake there. Then you wanna create database server, create database server. There we go, I spelled it wrong, sorry. And then you want to grant all privileges, uh, the database name, so server dot asterisk to server at percent sign, semicolon, and then flush privileges. And then you don't actually have to go through Pterodactyl at that point. You just use the, the host, which is the machine, the database name, which is oh, the one we just set up, server, and then the username, which is server. Um, and then it might have the table prefix in the, the configuration. If you don't have that list, it just creates its own when it gets the database and then just the password. I like using this method a lot more than going through actual pterodactyl because i get a lot more control over it and i actually know what's going on so i hope this video has helped you if you have any issues look down in the description there's a support website supports.plexusmc.net then you just go submit a ticket and then go questions for bruce and if you also want to have a chat come to my discord https colon slash slash discord.plexusmc.net and this is my discord i'm in the voice chats quite often come and have a chat if you have any problems this discord is actually based on a minecraft server you want to come check it out java 1.16.4 i uh, try to make a minecraft server that isn't pay to win that actually cares about the players well i hope this video has helped you out leave a like subscribe leave a comment i always read and reply to the comments when a reply is necessary and i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching